Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video. And yes, you read the title of this review, and, uh, you know, still in celebration of the release of the Super Mario Brothers movie, I thought of, you know, just, eh, what the heck, I'll go ahead and review this show. <laughs> yes, I am in fact reviewing... Hey, Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Yeah, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Boy, oh boy, where do I begin? Well, first off, um, you know, when I first discovered this show, um, I, I remember, like, uh, my family and I, we actually, uh, you know, bought, um, a DVD copy of of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Uh, this this one uh, it only had the Mario Brothers segments. You know the adventures of Mario, Luigi, uh, Princess Toadstool, and uh, Toad. It only had those. Like nothing else to it. Just that. Um, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I watched a good chunk of the DVD and. Um, yeah, definitely because it's a weird adaptation of Mario itself, you know? Uh, but then, like, uh, when I got around to watching the entire show, like, uh, you know, some episodes, like, that I watched, because uh, it was on Netflix at one point, um, yeah, because, like, again, just so much, so much to the show, I tell ya. And, um... You know, because it has live-action segments, it has animation segments, which of course being, you know, Mario, Luigi, and it also has uh, some Legend of Zelda. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, because, well, Mario and Zelda being uh, two properties of Nintendo, so yeah. But, um, yeah, because with the cast of characters... Um, Mario being played by the late, uh, WWE wrestler, Captain Lou Albano, which, yeah, I guess that, that, that is pretty cool, like, from what I've heard by many people, like, even, like, say, like, in the show, like, Mario and Luigi, they don't have the Italian accents, they have, like, you know, the Brooklyn accents, and just, like, say how in the Super Mario Brothers movie, that's what, um... Bob Hoskins does, you know, as as Mario, like, do that Brooklyn accent. Um, Lou Albano, who plays Mario, and Danny Wells, who plays Luigi, like, yeah, they play, th they play them in live action and in animation, and, um, I guess, you know, they, they fit the parts very well for both live action and voicing them, so yeah. Um, and Princess Toadstool, um, uh, I don't know, because why is she called Princess, like, is, hasn't that always, wasn't that her name at first in the games? Like, I don't know. Uh, Princess Toadstool, I believe, yeah, being voiced by Janine, uh, Ella, Elize, if I'm saying that right, yeah. I don't know, I'm probably, probably not. Um, and Toad, like, I don't know. I'm, I, like, like, Toad, like, I don't know, he, he was, he's definitely annoying, in this uh, show, because with his voice, I don't know. And as for the other characters, um, Princess Toadstool, Koopa, and Toad. Well, okay, first off, Princess Toadstool and Koopa. Um, first off, their names. Like, I don't know, was was Princess Toadstool, like, well, Princess Peach, I should, I should say, was Princess Peach called Princess Toadstool at one point? Um, and I guess the same goes for Bowser. Like, I don't know, was he called Koopa? And just, like, the look and designs of Princess Toadstool and Koopa are off. Just a little bit on Princess Toadstool. It's mostly the hair coloring. It's not yellow. Like, you know, gold, I should say. Uh, gold hair, etc. And Koopa? A completely different look. You know, he just about looks the same, but no hair... You know, the red hair and, uh, you know, his skin being all green, like he's supposed to be yellow, like he's, he's, the coloring of Bowser being yellow, green, and red, you know, and his shell being green. Just, ugh. And, you know, instead of the hair, he's got a crown. So, yeah, and Toad, Toad looks about the same. Um, and, uh, st <laughs> that, the voice of Toad, like, yeah, being voiced by John Stalker, like, 
I don't know, sounds about right, like how Toad sounds in the games, you know. Yeah, wee Like, yeah. And also, in the live-action segments, we would get guest stars. Um, you name it. Like, in the first episode of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, we got the guest appearance of Nicole Edgert, um, you know, like... She would be best known for, like, you know, say, Baywatch. <laughs> and, um, like, she's, you know, she comes to the, the Mario Brothers, like, you know, because it's on the newspaper of them being, like, the best plumbers in town. And, um, like, she's, like, gonna be heading on to, heading to a party. And, uh, you know, disaster happens. Like, she gets all messy and so on. And she tells them that this party that she's going to is a sloppy party. Um... Yeah, it's uh, pretty funny. And um, also, like, the other guest stars. Like, there was uh, Dracula. There was Inspector Gadget. And uh, Elvira. And Elvis. Yeah. Like, not the actual Elvis, but, you know. <laughs> uh, an impersonator. An Elvis impersonator, I should say. And also... A uh, fellow WWE wrestler, Sergeant Slaughter, made an appearance on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show as well. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and with, like, say, the uh, animation uh, segments of the Mario Brothers, like, yeah, a bunch of weird episodes. Like, it's different adventures and different lands, like um, a Roboland um, a car land? Literally, there's a car land. Uh, they would be in space, or, I don't know, like, say, dinosaurs would be there. Just so much randomness going on in, in those, like, animation segments of Mario. And, you know, Koopa, like, he would, uh, alter his appearance, like, you know, he would be like a robot, of course, and he would be dressed up as Darth Vader, and he would be a giant, like, you know, in Jack and the Beanstalk. Just, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the episodes, like, um, they, like, the very first one that I watched of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show was the one where they did a parody of Star Wars called Star Koopa. And, th yeah, that's where Koopa, he was dressed up as Darth Vader, and there was, of course, uh, an Obi-Wan wannabe who was, you know, uh, one of, like, the mushroom, like, characters, you know, mushroom people and so on. They had their own lightsabers. There were stormtroopers, a Death Star battle, you name it. And uh, another one where uh, there was uh, Raiders of the Lost Mushroom. And, uh, you know, there was the Indiana Jones parody character called Indiana Joe get it and what's crazy about that of the of indiana joe he has no face how <laughs> how does he not have a face did the, what was what was with that i don't know um and then there was as i mentioned uh bowser b i should say koopa uh, just call him but he should he should have just been called bowser okay king bowser whatever just come on um like, as I said, he was a giant, and, um, this, there was an episode where they did a Jack and the Beanstalk thing, you know, uh, the whole thing of the, like, you know, getting beans, and then they're tossed out the window, and they turn into a giant beanstalk, and, of course, Koopa being, uh, the giant, so, yeah, um, you know, feed fi fo fum I'm gonna cook some Mario stew, <laughs> Um, and there was even one time where we saw Koopa's mother, and I think it was in the same episode where Koopa was going to marry Princess Toadstool. And yes, like, at times, uh, Princess Toadstool would be kidnapped, but sometimes she wouldn't. Um, another episode, I, I can't really remember that much, but I, it had to do something with pizza. And this is the one where, like, there are dinosaurs, and one of uh, Koopa's minions called Mauser. He is a Mausersaurus, okay, and uh, at one point Mario gets snake bitten and he's unconscious, and the only way to revive him is with pizza, okay, so, uh, and um, even in that, in that episode, Luigi said something in Princess Toadstool's voice, 
how did that get passed? Like, how did they not miss, how did they miss that? Ugh. And if you remember that too, just, I don't know. Um, and, um, uh, like also, I, I, like, I think they probably did, like, say something of a Transformers parody. I don't know, because of the whole robot land and so on. Um, and a, a lot, there's a lot of this on the show. There would be nothing but pasta jokes. Like, good example is, uh, in the Star Koopa episode, May the Pasta Be With You. Um, and a bunch of other, like, pasta jokes and, like, food jokes, lunch, pizza, uh, because they're, they're Italian, even though they don't sound, they don't sound like they're Italian, <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, The Legend of Zelda, well, I don't know, I might have watched a little bit of The Legend of Zelda segments, um, like, it does have, like, a main story, because, um, you know, Zelda and Link are trying to protect the Triforce of Wisdom from the evil Ganon, because, uh, you know, Ganon wanting to use it, you know, just doing evil stuff and, you know, combining it with the Triforce of Power, etc. So, yeah, so that's nice. Like, that has a main, you know, grounded story. So, you know, why can't the, the Super Mario Brothers? Like, I don't know. And The Legend of Zelda, like known for, like, one infamous line from Link, Well, excuse me, princess. Wow, because, like, <laughs> I forget. Has that has that line continued on in other Zelda products? I don't, I can't remember. You guys can let me know on that. <sighs> I'm telling you, because the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, what a weird and interesting piece of animation this is, you know, for an animated TV show. And that's, you know, all about Mario and with the addition of Legend of Zelda, you know. Um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. And not to mention, one of the producers of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, uh, actually, uh, before this, he worked on the Star Wars Holiday spe Special. Like, if that's not bad enough, like, wow. <laughs> uh, and I don't know. I guess I give this, um, uh, yeah, four stars, four stars for the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And what about you guys? Have you ever seen the Super Mario Brothers Super Show? And, you know, what did you think of my review? Leave comments and give this review a like as always. Yeah, I still, like, I have to agree, like, I do, because it's not the best adaptation of the, of the Super Mario Brothers, alongside with the Super Mario Brothers live-action movie. Yeah, so... That's all I've got to say right there. So anyways, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. More reviews coming your way. They're gonna be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. And it's been, it's been fun, uh, with, uh, you know, the films and shows that, uh, I've reviewed in celebration of the Super Mario Brothers movie. I hope you've enjoyed. Take care, peace out, and let's-a-go!